Shooting uh, Detroit, Become Human, has been amazing. David and the creators have, have painted a really intriguing and engaging picture of a near future where we rely upon androids for a lot of our service class business. My character, Marcus, has a really int intriguing journey. Becoming deviant, realizing you actually deserve better. How I would describe Kara depends entirely upon who's playing her, because you have the option to make her multiple different people depending on the choices she makes. Entering every space and every scene without a perspective on any of it. It's so open. Connor is focused only on doing what he was designed to do, which is help humans stop deviance. You're designed to serve humans, not kill them. But depending on all of the things that he'll experience along the way, of course, he can deviate from that procedure or not. Connor kind of grows out from a starting center point, depending on the player's choice. North. They killed them. Working on motion capture set has been really fun. We're in one room the whole time, with surrounded by cameras. There's no change of sets, there's no hair and makeup, there's no wardrobe. You have all these dots all over you, and I found it sort of terrifying in a way. But then everything new that I found out as I went along took the fear out of it. It's very liberating and and creative, and it engages your imagination in a way that, you know, films don't always and televisions don't always. It's like acting bare bones, and it really kind of um, requires you to re-engage and unlock that childlike uh, imagination. What it all finally boils down to is performance. It's an open, creative river that you can get into and you can create what you want. Life without emotions wouldn't be worth living. The really beautiful thing that I've had the gift to be able to do is to essentially build a person from the ground up. Uh, it's grueling, it's hard work, but it's gonna be really, really cool. I can't wait to see it and play it. For the players.